Well, hello again. Today I'm going to be creating, or trying to create, or craft, light up jellyfish. Got my umbrella. How unlucky is it to open a brolly inside? I really hope not that unlucky. Smashing. I have four of these. I have a lot of bubble wrap. I have been saving from different packages over the last little while. I've got a heap of wire, glue gun, tape, batteries, some more LE, EL wiring. So I've got blue, blue, purple, I've got some white. Where shall we start with? Will she start with the blue one? Perfect. I found these guys all getting sold off. So I thought these would be quite good. Pack them from here, covered with bubble wrap, and hopefully go from there. And I mean, you can you can always get great costume, great prop. Well, we just go and give this a bash. I really hope having this up inside is not going to be unlucky. We have Cell tape, light up wire. I think I'm going to start on the outside because that way I can have my battery pack on the inside. Now, all the outside will be covered in bubble wrap, so I don't think it's going to matter if it's too neat or even at this stage. Keep it working round. Oh, this could be a problem. Oh, these tiny little wires look like they could get in a severe tangle quite quickly. So I'll continue doing that, working my way around in, into the... Slowly working my way around. And just doing them a little bit wiggly so it's not quite so perfect. So there's a hundred little blue lights on these strips. Just down the handle. So let me get into the battery operations. A little bit easier. And yes, there is dog hair stuck to everything. I think that's pretty normal. I'll try and stick the battery down here for the moment. Yeah, I know that battery battery is hanging off, but I think I should tape it up or something for just right now. Don't really want it bashing around. But it will stop it faffing around. Dropping, but it's planning everywhere. Love that. Right, anyway, can't be faffing around like this all day. So, what I've done is I've cut a whole heap of bubble wrap strips. I'm just using some tape, just taping them on methodically all the way around so they kind of dangle off the edge of the umbrella. Um, I'm trying to keep it as uneven, <laughs> uneven as possible. wasn't meant to happen. Yes, it starts to look a little bit like a jellyfish. So bubble wrap, all stuck on. Put some more tape on here just to reinforce get everything stays where it should be. Especially if it's going to be outside in the wind. A bit of round tape stuck to my edge. So you get for repurposing old bubble wrap. But no, waste not on that. Right, stick all that down. I'm going to do another layer of bubble wrap on the inside. And around all the edges. Got them inside out. Shall we go around? And we shall do the inside. Time to cut some more. I am certainly going to run out of tape, aren't I? So I'm not going to tape these down either, maybe right to the bottom just so they can hang a little bit looser. Just double that up a little bit. Right, I'm going to stick a whole load of more on the inside. So I've already taped my battery pack to the end here. Keeps it out of the way for the minute. More tape, definitely need more tape. I've now attached 
this wire. I've taken it off, put it on, taken it off, put it on, taken it off. So I've now put on, I don't know if you can even see these little metal, just little bits of metal. Oh, this is going to help a little bit. I found when these were too high up, I just kind of thought you just lost them when you're actually looking at the jellyfish. I think half the problem is that the little blue lights at the top are just so strong, I don't think you can hardly, you really don't get the full effect of this. So I'm gonna carry on sticking, you can see, I'm gonna carry on sticking little, keep sticking them all around all the spots. I've finished gluing, or not gluing, what am I on about? Sellotaping all the little bits in here. So in the middle there, I'm now going to put in strips of this lovely leftover fabric. It's like a, it's like a white netting, really. Strips that up in, up in the middle here to hide this area. And a few little spangly sparkles. So yeah, it kind of occurred to me that you guys probably couldn't see really what I was doing all that much. So I've gotten myself. <laughs> Yeah, the dog's sleeping there. Um, a clothes error. So yeah, now, up here, I'm gonna hang some kind of white material, like sort of netting material thing. Right now is I'm cutting up these little bits of fabric. And then we're gonna tie them to the middle, tie them to the middle of the jellyfish. Just to tie, you guys can stay there for a minute. So I can get underneath this all. Just tie this. I'll put a towel around the battery pack and try and hide that. In the middle, just to hide the umbrella stem, to hide where all the battery packs are. Chris, even I can't. Done a little bit of this. Yeah, my camera ran out of battery last week, so it's now the weekend later. But for you guys, it's like two seconds. Finishing off this beautiful masterpiece. In the meantime, this side is not looking quite so uh, fabulous. Now he's on a hanger, and we've got all these bits tied inside. So all these bits, I'm going to just sew up in here. These. Look, Tentacly bits, I'm just going to tuck them, sew them up. Needle, thread, scissors. Patience is a virtue, is it? So, I was going to do four jellyfish, but I seem to have run out of it at a time. So, I was going to do four jellyfish, but I've actually only done three. So, I've done a blue jellyfish, a purpley coloured jellyfish, and Good night, speaker. And a uh, white jellyfish. We'll just chuck everything up and around into the centre a bit more. There we go. You can see a lot of it better. Voila! We have one beautiful jellyfish. One kind of squint of jellyfish there, but is it flat? That's okay, no one's gonna notice. So here's the finished jellyfish. We've just tied up, oh, just tied these bits in, or bits of string, just to hide everything in the center as well. So now let's go see what they're like inside.
but they are quite big, so I don't know how well they last. I mean, they might be great, but no real idea. Like every project I try to do, or every kind of craft project, I sort of think, oh yeah, this isn't going to take long. Turns out it does. You know, where is the fun if a craft project doesn't take forever? 